time 7 a.m it's a beauty kids this is gonna be great so i am looking forward to this show oh, the, the, you know you know yeah i am actually looking forward to this show looking at the fact that someone has actually properly worn a tie that too with a formal yes shirt and a and a jacket wow i know i know Like this is like going to be a real I, I, show today. Apparently, this is like someone's no, thinking if somebody yeah. woke up seriously, judgment, we, judgment, we should do this judgment. Saturday every day. Uh, I don't, I, I don't, judgment. I don't know. Judgment. I don't know. If I was, to, if I was to explain to you the situation I was in one hour ago, then the fact that I'm wearing a suit and tie, yes, is uh, it's quite good. Was my mm. really well, I think... what I what I read was right. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I didn't get to read I'm not in that special group so I didn't get to read that. It, it was a special group because 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 you don't harass me first thing in the morning. It was fun to harass me first thing in the morning. Okay. I had to explain to him I explained yeah. to him that I was in in a slightly compromised position and that I could speak to him later <laughs> on. Hence really? that's why I say wearing a suit and tie right now is not the it, it is a good thing. It's yeah. a tribute It's a tribute to both of you and how much respect, love and adoration I have for you both. Yeah, right. Well, well, yeah, wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, yeah, wait. yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just make sure. Okay. The world's still here. Okay. So, well, I I I wore my formal my formal oh, uh, yes. jacket today. Us. Yes. Oh, and so let's go since we haven't technically started the show, but we will in a second. A yeah. I'm going to I take a photo. I'm just going to do a close. No, let's, Look, no, no, no. What, we should start the show. <laughs> yeah, let's start the show. <laughs> All right. Let's start hey, the show. listen, everybody, on Saturday morning, thanks for being here. And uh, because you're here, uh, we're going to start the show. This is 2OF Entertainment. The Habanos Cigars Dinner and Drink Show, exclusively on 2OF Entertainment, with over 100,000 YouTube subscribers and rapidly growing to be the most watched and podcast cigar show broadcast globally. The Habanos Cigars Dinner and Drink Show, exclusively on 2OF Entertainment. Wow, look at that. And let's just say this is live on Saturday morning. Um, we're not going to, we don't want to mention any names why we couldn't do it yesterday, princess. Um, but we're <laughs> here this morning and that's the important thing. And you get us live so you can actually ask us questions. Not that we'll read them or take them, but uh, you can ask. And we're going to rebroadcast this literally in two hours. So we're going to do yes, a live sir. show and throw it, rebroadcasting for the fans. So there okay, Mr. Mr. Raza Adil has started to light up his cigar. What is he smoking? No, I'm can toasting he, can it. He first. I'm he's toasting, toasting it. it. He's to I'm oh, really? Toasting uh, did you tell him it was really nice? I, I like the way I, you look. I, I love your wrapper. Oh, you're the greatest <laughs> cigar ever. I like the way they made you. Is that how you're toasting it? Oh, I'm sorry. You're using a lighter. I'm sorry. What do I? Mean? I am. I am. I am. I am actually. I'm actually liking the right. fact that he has started to take it seriously. I can see. Well, oh, you know why? Listen, I... listen, listen, yeah. listen, 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 listen. Can I? Can I be honest? <laughs> Please. In my defense. I, I know, now he's going to say, I, "In I my know, defense." I know. In my defense. I know. I know that in private, <laughs> both of you have expressed your concerns to me about cigar smoking, and how what? unhealthy an activity it is. <laughs> what? But, but <laughs> let me say to you guys that I've always supported it wholeheartedly. Yes, and, you have. Um, hang on, let me light up. You are a man among men, my friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guy this guy Raza and his I can't imagine why you'd want to give up an activity as demure and stylish as this um, I, I'm not giving it up so, oh my so let, me, let, let me just say let me just say in, in, with, with the audience watching gentlemen I encourage yes. you to continue cigar smoking it's very thank good you very you. little It's an wow. organic object. It's an organic mm -hmm. product. Uh, it's good for you. Kills germs and uh, makes you look stylish right. and classy. Well, for two of us, it does. Anyway, um, thank you. So <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, Reza, what are you smoking? It, yeah, what are you smoking? I'm smoking a what is called technically a Habanos, a Cuban cigar. Yes, uh, I've smoked this one on the show before, but I like it. The size is uh, the size and ring gauge. Sort of, uh, sort of an hour long smoke, hour fifteen right. minute smoke for me, and it lasts the show. So it's a part of the gas Maduro Number Two, which has got the torpedo in. I 
snip that off. Snip it. Sure, like a moil. And uh, lit it up. And um, I think this show, a big birdie tells me this show is about the subtle or nuanced or very uh, rugged differences between New World cigars and Cuban cigars. People talk about Cuban cigars all the mm -hmm. time or Habanos, as they are called uh, much more uh, recently. Right. And uh, in the USA, I know you've always had difficulty getting Cuban cigars, primarily because of the politics um, so there's this sort of mythical sort of wish list. I would like to smoke a, a Cuban cigar. And in the U.S. market, you've got lots and lots of New World cigars. No end of New World cigars. Sure. Um, and um, I, I, I believe, because I, I, I like to have a serious program, a serious discussion. I believe that... <laughs> it's getting deep. Go ahead. I, right here. I've, I've, got, I've, 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 got, I've gotten here. something to... Sh uh, this, is, this is Raza. I, I get that next to me now. These days, this is Raza for me, especially oh when God. he does stuff, stuff like stuff like this. This is Raza. Thanks, nice, nice. I see that. You mean you mean a soldier, <laughs> a soldier, rugged yeah. and determined. And oh upright. my God! Yeah, that's, what, that's what he was going with. Not that princess look. So because you're gonna, <laughs> you two are going to be smoking Cubans or Habanas, if you want to get technical, and we're going to go into what our, mm -hmm. our Samone is is cooking, even though he's an ambassador for Cigar Keep. And congratulations on that, by the way. And I think Riz is one, too. So, yeah, both Raza of you. Riz is one, too. He, do, he, does, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't like to mention it. I was like, we have got him. space. Why not? I, yeah. Just why not show it? You know, yeah, because, I'm, I'm the person, I'm the person that go. turns up slightly late at the party. And we know that. Please years. join the party I'm, now. I'm, I'm very, Please join I'm, the party very, now. Sorry? You say join, join the, party the party now. It's like the Communist Party. You're fine. So... <laughs> While he's talking about his party, so I'm doing the New World, and my favorite New World is, of course, the CAO Brazilian Amazon, which is like a six-inch, 54-ring gauge. This is a man's cigar. This is a man's, man's full-body cigar. It's a beautiful cigar. It's a beautiful now, cigar. How many is a Brazilian? How many? I, don't, I, I asked her, and she would never tell me. Um, now, <laughs> I will say this, though. It is in in America where we are filming live right now. So you people that are watching the rebroadcast, it is seven o'clock in the morning. So it it my is two o'clock. Oh cheers, yes, everybody. So there you oh, go. Oh, 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 cheers, on that note, cheers. On that note, on that note, somebody's cheers. somebody's on a two OJ, p.m. OJ, time. OJ. Yeah, OJ with what? So. Oh. <laughs> OJ right. at two p.m. and when yep. it comes to the tea time. Which is mm. 5 p.m. on my side. Oh, well, it rises 1 p.m. when it's yeah. after, uh, evening 5 p.m. with me. So yeah. I have tea to pair with. But most interesting today, I yes, yes. am going to dig into the latest oh, very nice. wow. of, of the Linea, uh, Linea Retro series, which is the Punch Triumph Force by Habanos. Habanos has gotten very like nice. four of these already in pre in the previous timings and now they've come up with mm. punch triangles i hope i can show very nice right. yeah, yeah that's let, me, right. let me do a close-up there so so nice. yeah thank you very much so this is wow. this is a 42 ring gauge did we by get a close-up did we get a close-up of the tin just now we did yes we did oh, you want yes. to we, we can do it again if you'd like can we do a close-up of the tin yeah. Yeah, we did, but we'll do it again. Sure. Close up of the tin because Princess wasn't paying attention. There you go. There's the tin, everybody. Very nice. This is punch. There you go. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? That says, hey, punch. We this need is punch. Try and pose. Yes. There you go. Yeah, that's better. And I think this that's, that's is, this is the cigar. Of doing it. Yes. Mm. Yes. Now, thanks, you know, let me just say this. I went sir. to my doctor the other day, and my doctor told me if I want to stop chewing gum, I should take up cigar smoking. So I've said I've already, I'm ahead of the curve there. So there you go. So, <laughs> so I throw that out there. So did I tell you about my, the, the, on, the, the, the only, the only thing is with the yeah, chewing yeah. gum, I don't, yeah, I don't think I give up chewing gum after or because of cigars. Cause technically my eat chewing gum, uh, habit started after cigars because sometimes <laughs> When you've stumbled across a shitty cigar, uh, mm. and pardon my French in this case, the next Is morning when you get, yeah, well, whatever. Okay. Uh, reg regardless of regardless <laughs> of even brushing your teeth and anything right. and everything at night and even in the morning, you have yeah. that bad odor in the mouth sometimes, yep. and and that is something which which can only be taken away 
with two things one if you maintain which is have like brush your teeth twice thrice a day and yeah. use mouthwash and and if it still prevails because sometimes the cigars are really, a couple of cigars are like really really uh <clears throat> of the type which doesn't suit you right it's the mint it's the mints it's such a gums uh which will ultimately Obviously. neutralize yeah. your uh palate and all of that I was going to say a girl could take that away, but that's a different story. But anyway, we're good. Um, so today, as, oh, uh, as Riz is- depends, <laughs> depends if she wants to go there or yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> depends before, if I know before her. We move on, before yes. we move on, yeah, yeah. Before we move on, uh, mm-hmm. Stephen, I'm, I'm intentionally going to stop you both because of my inability to start on time last time. And yes, yes. it's getting late. I promise, I promise that when we start the next show, for the first couple of minutes we will revisit the aromaster kit and how to pick up notes okay. for the fans who might have missed it up uh sure. hence i mean and, and as you know raza wants the show to be serious so let's start i mean i thought let's keep it serious so gentlemen there you go. and ladies this is this is the cigar aromas kit by aromaster which is aromaster.com it's it it consists of 12 different kind of aromas and if i open it up for you guys uh and show it to you it comes like these small little perfume bottles if you may think of them okay and to pair up with i mean they have a number to pair up with these you get this card which is which is your cheat sheet of which bottle reminds you of what flavor profile or the aroma as well as for different languages they've written them down at the back of the card as well and wow. and what you do is practically just just uh, the quick notes i mean any kind of or uh, memories of the taste that we have are either through your uh, mouth and your glands in the mouth or through your sensory uh, glands and ultimately all this information is stored in your brain so technically it's your brain which tells you oh what are you smelling what are you getting the profile off and by keeping by using this kit and and actually smelling them uh, separately again and again you can actually train your brain uh, with the fact that okay this nuance means it is hazelnut or is it wood or is it hay and that is how you can in the future <clears throat> uh become more aware of what you're smoking and how does it go along with your experience in terms of the profile of the cigar very nice that was a nice little summary thank you very much you i find thank that you when i much. have to go to a, an intellectual cigar smoke or a herb there we go the so. other way of uh, training myself to understand the flavors and aromas is to look the cigar up on cigar keep and uh, find out what it should taste like and uh, absolutely then I can speak right. Very intelligently Boy, about it. There's a shameless plug. <laughs> and, um, I'm a shameless human being from that. Hey perspective. Kirby, I know you're watching. Come on the show next time. I, so I thought I did something yourself. quite nice there, but you, you too. I, I think you've got into this habit of mocking intellect. And, I'm sorry, uh, mocking. I'm, when we get an intellect on this show, we'll mock them. So. <laughs> <laughs> I will sure. I will say the show that we just followed, Lost Dollar Business Club, had Guy Standing on it, which is a um economics guru from the UK. And he was talking about a whole bunch of wonderful subjects for an hour and 20 minutes yesterday, which we did live and it just rebroadcasted right before this show. Um that's an intellect. Um and I asked him if he smokes cigars and he said no. And I was like, mm-hmm. I don't know how much of an intellect you are, though. But uh, he was a he was a great guy to, to have on the show. So you know, no, we gotta no, get no, like no. intellect join us. No, no, uh, there's too much humility on this forum to engage <laughs> in self promotion. Mm. But um, from time to time, one must call it out. We- yes, you do. You do. You do. You're the best. So let me just say to everybody, Lahayam, and whatever. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Gio. Gio. <laughs> Gio. And we're gonna start the <laughs> and. And Lyme, to all, uh, all, yes. uh, to all, to all of our uh, Polish fans. Um, uh, chin so chin. To, chin Chin for all the Asian people, sure. And I saw one the other day and she had two Chin Chins. Anyway, um, <laughs> so 
you know, this girl was fat. I'm not, you know how fat she was? She was wearing stilettos. And when she was walking, she was striking oil. That's how fat this girl was. Anyway, um, you'll think about that. Um, <laughs> all right, let's get into the show, kids. So today we're going to talk about New World versus Cuban or Habano cigars. Um, I've had both, but I am not the Salmonet. So I'm, well, I guess either Riza or our ambassador for Cigar Keep there. Um, I guess take it away, guys, and tell the fans what we think, what we want, and we'll jump in. Right. Okay, so, uh, Stephen, first of all, let me tell you, we had a Cigar Keep Herf uh, three days ago, two days ago, actually. Mm-hmm. It's all, it was on Sunday. And you were missed, by the way. I uh, spoke about you and I mentioned you. Because oh, we were you. having a bit of, yeah, well, thank you. And, uh, and, I, and I, I must say, I mean, in the next month's herf, I would definitely want to invite you as a guest for there. Uh, and, thank and you. Great. What did you say about me, though? Wait, wait, wait. Now so, my ego yeah. has, I have to know what was said. <laughs> I know, I know. That's what I'm coming to. Okay, so, so this, this conversation, this conversation, this, yeah. this conversation popped up in that herf as well, where we had people from across the world and there were people from the right. US, the UK, Europe, and all of that, and Eastern uh, world as well. And the conversation, I mean, yeah, Switzerland, yes. So there were a few, there were a few uh, discussions on the fact that, okay, what is it that you get from your Cubans and non-Cubans and all of that? Right. So that's what I'm going to start with. And, and, and we'll, we'll have this conversation. Let's keep it as a conversation rather than me being sure. sharing my Right. And that's the thing that we, and I mentioned that the easiest way for me to define is how Stephen defines it, that whenever I want to have aroma and profile and I want to enjoy my cigar that way, uh, I actually go and pick up a Habanas or a Cuban cigar, but have thick smoke, more smoke. I don't really want to be very much bothered and cared about and I just want to enjoy that. Okay, I'm having a cigar. I want to have a cigar, and I want to have that thing feel of it. Then I will just go for any of my non-Cubans, and in most right. of those cases, it is the CEO of Amazon. There you go. So, 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 so that's where the conversation actually uh, went, and 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 I I remembered how you easily kind of get away with just this very yeah. easy definition, easy definition yeah. of the differential. I think. Um, and call me biased if you may. I okay, have biased. been. <laughs> thank you. So I am. I am. I. So I. I'm. I'm. I'm a Habanos lover, and there was a reason that whenever I was looking forward to even going for a sommelier course, my first choice went to the Society for Habanos Sommelier, as compared to the ISCS or the Tobacconist University, are based out of the U.S. Because okay. I wanted to learn more about the Habanos. Uh, Yes, I do intend to go for further education with the Tobacconist University or ISES to actually learn more about the non-Cuban side as well. Uh, and yeah. why I say that is because I understand the brands there as well. And a few of them I really like. But uh, Cubans for me have always been something which I feel is live, something I feel is actually a man-made product. And when I say right. that, which means is because of its imperfection, its uniqueness. Okay. It might, you might call it Im- imperfection. You might call it uniqueness. You might call it the uh, artisan's qualities in it, or 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 the uh, rollers' uh, commitment, or rollers' uh, hand rolled uh, beauty, whatever right. you want to call it. I'm I, I'm I'm here at lack of words for this, <clears throat> but. Every single cigar I smoke, which is a Cuban, from the same box even, I don't know if I'm going to have the same experience or better. Right. It's, it's very rare that I get slightly worse. In something I really have felt that over time with aging, with even the newer ones, <clears throat> there is a feeling where I understand what I'm smoking. There is some aroma to it. There is some uh well in, in in thinner ringages some struggle to it there is a very flavored profile that i know i'm going to get out of this specific brand or this specific right. linea of this brand uh whereas when i talk about 
the non cubans and i don't use the world new world or i i try to avoid this world since i've actually seen a very interesting youtube video by um, steven uh, well, sorry aaron sigmund uh, right. on the on, on on the fact that i mean why does he not prefer to call them new world and and prefers to call them non cubans just right. for the differentiation part because there there are a lot of other countries and and as a respect to that but again so there are few of those brands which i really like and i appreciate i mean padron being one tatoise mm-hmm. uh big john and and the fun fact is tatoise and uh, my father cigars are primarily made in the same place or in the same factory or in the same right. uh, origins yet i do not like my father cigars but i love uh, tatoise uh, right. so i think p johnson has done something really good in that case ceo brasilia for that example oliva i do not like nubs i really like yeah so and see on the opposite i like the oliva not yeah. the nubs yeah so so i think there there there, there is some uh, personal liking non liking and biased uh, involved into it as well but primarily in non cubans i sometimes feel they are either too perfect and right. when i say too perfect i tend to may- mention the brand davidoff because yes. sometimes i fail to i sometimes i fail to understand if it is hand rolled or not because it just seems too perfect all of those 10 cigars coming out of the box or 20 cigars coming out of the box how can they be absolutely same when they are hand rolled and they were not even rolled by the so so i sometimes get into that but perfect smoke <clears throat> no uh, combustion or flow issues <clears throat> mm-hmm. excuse me on the other hand fuentes for example but drones for example right. they are great cigars i mean i i like them i i i get some not much people talk a lot about opus x and i and i am absolutely being biased or ignorant uh and in no way i don't want to denounce any of those brands right uh, because i've i've heard a lot of people talking about opus x's and uh, the Padre and all of those cigars but opus x to me was just like okay it's a average cuban decent cigar i would prefer I, it's, uh, it's more yeah, if yeah. i make marketing I don't mean to interrupt yes. you, but it's marketing. People get Opus X and Padron because they're like, "Look at me! I'm smoking a twenty-five dollar cigar." Like I have a friend of mine told me I have the uh, Opus X black tube thing. It's a great mm-hmm. smoke, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to buy. It's not my everyday smoke, and I will tell you, which we've already discussed on and off air. My CAO Brazilian Amazon is just as good as the Opus X, and I and I used to buy 1926 Padron cigars all the time by the like the truckloads, and they're a good smoke. Mm-hmm. But I don't want the fact that they're pressed for that kind of money. Yes. I want like the I want like what I get from a Cuban. I want the Virgin thighs to roll my cigars. Um, and Stephen, I, Stephen, I guess, Stephen, you 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 mentioned the magic word just now, money. Right. Yes. I was listening very carefully for a change to a smoke <laughs> just now. Okay. <laughs> Now there's one there's look we could talk about cigars as cigar smokers and some of us can talk about cigars as journalists right right mm-hmm. and one of my other favorite industries is the car industry right? right we all like cars okay we all like cars you know we had our favorite cars when we were kids we yeah got, we're talking with cigars we're talking it's a very subjective topic what you like and what you don't mm-hmm. like okay it's yes, a very subjective absolutely. topic right. Right. right i'm perfectly happy to say i i basically hate most non cuban cigars i'm perfectly happy to say it there's one or right. two that will that will that jump out right there's right. one or two that will jump out yeah. but on the whole i have no problem saying i just don't like i don't get it if i'm going to spend 20 pounds and not enjoy myself better to spend right. 30 pounds and really enjoy myself i think like that Right. Okay. Agreed. There are two big there are two big differentiators. Well, at least one, let's start with one. The one big differentiator between New World, well, sorry, let's go with uh, Usman's uh preferred choice, Cuban cigars and non-Cuban, non-Cuban. cigars. Right. There there's one big differentiator uh, differentiator, that's money, the price, the price point. 
Yes. Right. The price point is always less for non-Cubans than it is for Cubans. Okay. Uh, not, uh, not, no. not anymore. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Trust me, Raza. Yeah. Raza, I, I, I it's was, becoming, uh, it's let, becoming let me, a let joke let me, now. Let me, let me, let me, yeah. let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. Because I was going to throw in an analogy about cars again. Yeah. Cuban cigars, in my head, conjure up what would be an old Bentley. Okay, from the 1980s. Yeah. Even the 90s, beautiful car, lots of right. imperfections, will always need maintenance, bespoke product, classy. It has value, right? right, right. Okay. New World Cigars are the sort of, sorry, not New World Cigars, non-Cuban cigars non have also been around for a while, some more recently than the others. They're the sort of upstart little, uh, uh, I, 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 these old brands, BMW and Mercedes, and these old brands, but imagine someone driving around little fast BMW or little Mercedes sort of upstartish brands right. right and now when we talk about price point which both of you uh, sort of almost just now were interjecting on you are getting new world sorry i'm so used to it i'm so used to it that that in itself is is the it's all right it's all right brother go for it go for okay. it okay so the non cuban cigars i can mention brands like mirafel or arturo right. fuente are pricing themselves in a way as to compete with cuban cigars let me say one thing. In some cases, perhaps the equalization of pricing is justified. In most cases, it's a pure scam as far as I'm concerned. I agree. The, the, the product does not stand up in the same way. And if I can just finish this little tirade off with uh, something that I perhaps spoke about a few episodes back, the way I see Cuban cigars versus non-Cuban cigars is like this. You can go to your average supermarket in the USA or anywhere in the world. You're sort of like a giant or an Asda in the UK or anywhere, anywhere in the world. You go to and you can buy six tomatoes very nicely wrapped in plastic. They look like perfect tomatoes. They're very right. well wrapped. You go home, you cut them, you put them in your in your burger or you'll eat them with your salad. And yeah, they are tomato-y. There's that. And then you can go on holiday to France or Sicily and you can go to an open air market and you will see these beautiful misshapen tomatoes that have got the, the sun hitting them. Mm -hmm. And you'll cut that and they'll have a taste explosion inside right. your mouth. Right. And that to me, even now, is the kind of comparison between non-Cubans non and Cubans. Right, there is right. a, even though non-Cubans are made of organic products, there is a sort of processed feel to them with cubans there's this as osman was saying this bespoke artisan right, right. handcrafted small relatively small production you're not gonna there's only a certain number of cigars you're gonna get out of those valleys in right, cuba right. you know uh there's only uh, that soil perhaps is slightly different to the soil ever, uh, elsewhere i'm not saying it's better i'm not saying it's worse but that is a very unique uh localized product that's made a, a big name for itself in the world and hence, if you like it, you like it. And if right. you don't like it, everything else will feel a little bit different. That's right. So it's it's a subject. It's very subjective topic. I, I I I don't shirk away from saying I like something. I don't like something. In in the same way, I don't like I don't like a mint green BMW driving around on London roads. I think it's it's <laughs> abhorrent. I can say that it's a really yeah. well engineered car. Right. It's got it's a really old, but I don't like it. I'm allowed yeah. to say I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's, it's overpriced. It's, it's, it's for stupid idiots. Yeah, I can say. I can say. Raza, like Raza, so. the, the, Raza, Raza, the thing is, there are there are a lot of things now. Uh, <laughs> that that we, I, we 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 used to say right in the past, but not anymore. Uh, now even, we say even, left. Even about your own. So. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so so, so, so yeah, just me... just just to just to give an example, Stephen, just yeah. uh, relating to one example quickly, Raza, now. The price point that you've talked about. Now this is, uh, and I've I've purposefully picked up a, a, a limited edition from Davidoff, which is a limited okay. edition for the year 2022. It was the Winston Churchill limited edition, which came in very nicely done, restyled uh, boxes. Now at the time in 22 when it came, it costed. Uh, around, if I'm not wrong, 40 or 42 dollars a stick. Yeah, right? 30 pounds. And yeah. I, I, yeah. I, yeah, so I specifically chosen the time 
when the cuban pricing has not gone up so yeah. intentionally when when the prices were still reasonable and exactly at the same time or a little before that i purchased this longest product that the about Norris. still oh no wow number 1 this is a uh, monte cristo number a number a monte cristo a. Right. a yeah so monte cristo a which is a grand corona which at that time even did not cost me around 28 or 30 dollars right right and this is the sancho panza sanchos which is also the same size a discontinued cigar from 2006 and this because it was discontinued and has become rare i was able to get it for around 45 dollars so this which was at that time already 16 years old got it for 45 dollars where this was a fresh product and i got it for 3 dollars difference primarily because the packaging was amazing the box was amazing and to right. be honest i opened this up I, i i can see it the cellophane is still white yeah i don't see any I don't see anything which tells me oh there is some aging happening i can tell you i got these sticks in, uh, and from the same box because there was only one retailer who had them and not many right. knew about so i i got this stick when when raza came for the first time in 2021 at or mid and i smoked one then and i smoked it the second time when raza came in 2022 right i can tell you the smoke had matured and aged even in my humidor after a year like it was a charm to smoke i loved right. it right and and i'm waiting now to events what's the price point decides difference? to come back again what's the right. what's the price point difference i know i know what that sancho panza three dollars in london today huh what that's what i'm telling at that time it was 45 dollars so steven that sancho panza in london is 300 pounds now that's crazy that's crazy to me I mean, it's, it's nice, but see, it's still see, crazy. What, I don't care how much money else. Well, that's that. That's Raza. That that's now because one, London is a very different market. Two, right. it is after the Habanos has taken pricing. Hence, I made all the comparison from the time when Habanos did not take pricing. Even right. if I take the if I take the comparison from today, so this cigar, which is a, a, a tin that I've just shown, a Petit Corona. Now this is a Petit Corona, which five cigars come for around seventy dollars, right? Okay. Uh, or so, that this is the global. So it's between sixty-seven to seventy, based on where you get them from. This is the price globally. On the comparison, the similar size is a Davidoff Grand Cru Number no. Three, or a Davidoff two thousand or three thousand. One of those right. Petit Coronas. Now this cigar, now cigars in five actually comes out to be around fourteen dollars a stick. But on the same side, those cigars cost around twenty dollars to twenty-five dollars a stick for a Petit Corona. Now, okay. to me, why would I spend? Why, if I have forty-five minutes, buying a beautiful Cuban product, which I personally like, and again, as I said. subjective and biased in a cheaper price also why would i go and buy a davidoff where i'm always concerned whether it was a man made or a machine made and why is it like all the way through same thing no nothing changed the flavors and all that well well your boys in london there the davidoff boys um they swear by davidoff cuz you know they have a store but i will say between you have your opus x which is fuentes you have your perdron very nice You have your Davidoffs. The problem is, in general, you're paying for the mystique. If I like Rocky exactly. Patel cigars, like in the beginning, they were like you know, like buying a Cao Brazilian. Now, when you buy a Rocky Patel cigar, it's like this cigar is seventy five dollars. I'm like, for Rocky? Are you kidding? It's the same crap as, and that's the problem. Is that people? And I told you the story of that one Rocky Patel, right? The guy goes, I bought a box. He was all impressed, right? And I'm like, right, but how does it smoke? What's it? Do? So. That's the problem. The non-cigar smokers, and I'm sorry, you people in China, you're just learning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they, because they have money, they're nouveau riche, and the nouveau riche are trying to show off. And by showing off, they're going to buy the most expensive cigar. And in their mind, 
the most expensive cigar is the best. And that's not always true. Um, and that's why I always joke about my CAO Brazilian Amazon. It's like five to six dollars a stick. And it's a great daily smoke. And I get as much pleasure as I'm going to get out of um, a part of this D, right? Which is going to cost me, if you will, $15 a stick. And I'm okay with that when I buy my box or my guy. And I don't mind it. But, you know, it's sort of like they're pricing themselves to a point where people, it's not, it's not becoming realistic for people to want to do it because it's a, it's a hobby that's, you know, worse than owning a supercar. So the cigar comp, the Agreed. cigar guys are going to price themselves out of the market at some point where it's going to be like all the wealthy Chinese people and all the wealthy this and all the billionaires are going to be the only ones. And they're going to find that you're not going to make as much money. And I, and I think you need to realize that when you make a cigar, you're making it for whether it's lower, lower middle class, middle class, whatever it is, you're making it for the people, not, you know, the, it's your image. And I get that. And I have a real problem with that sometimes on the pricing. I'm like, really? Are you kidding me? And I mean, I'll buy it because I want my cigars. But sometimes I'm just like a box of Padron 1926s is like four to five hundred dollars. My Winston Churchill mm -hmm. um, after dark is like four or five hundred dollars. I can buy Cuban boxes for that. So, you know, sometimes exactly. when I'm buying cigars, I have to call my guy and I'm like, yeah, I don't want any. I want no non. I'm just going to buy Cubans this week. No, I just buy that because it's the same price and it's crazy. Unless I'm buying CAO Brazilian Amazon, then, Absolutely. you know, I get a truckload for $400 and it's good. But, you know, but now see, agreed, agreed. I don't like pressed cigars. So whether you're Cuban or non-Cuban, don't want pressed. I want hand rolled or what is perceived to be hand rolled. And I find with the CAO Brazilians, when you're talking about like Davidoff and Davidoff, yes, there, every cigar there is perfect. The draws, everything's perfect. To me, it's some computers doing it. But with CAO, I've had bad ones. I've had good ones. You know, so I think uh -huh. they're like kind of doing the Cuban thing. Um, and Fair then enough. Pete Johnson's Fair cigars, enough. I've met him, nice guy. And his cigars there, I enjoy as well. There, there will be yeah. there will be a person somewhere yeah. in the world that likes the cigar that you hate. Mm -hmm. And vice right. versa. Of course. That, right. that's, that, of course. That's a, that's a, of no, course. That's a re I think that's a reasonable statement. Yeah. Somewhere there will be a group of people who really, really love really, really, and enjoy the cigar that yeah. you are saying is, what is this cigar? It's a waste of time. Right, right, right. Then there is a group of people out there who are willing to pay more for a cigar right. than you think it's worth. There's that yep. group. And this, as much as it looks like a consumable product, which it is a consumable product, right? right. Okay, it's a deteriorating product. Ever since this issue of collectors really mm -hmm. gained traction, I mean, there were collectors of, of cigars Right. Cuban cigars, I'm sure 60 years ago, 100 years, I'm sure they were. But this this sort of um, this hobby, this pastime of collecting cigars, I personally believe is not as much about enthusiasm as it is about a price driven market of Profit. let me buy. I, I mean, it's a bit of a no brainer. Uh, um, Usman just showed you two cigars. It's a bit of a no brainer. OK. Usman well, showed you two cigars, the Monte Cristo A and the Davidoff, right? Okay. Right. Yeah. If I if I had half a million pounds spare, I would go and buy those types of cigars today, sit on them, and just like an appreciating asset, either sell them in two, three years time, five years time, and I may have nothing to do with cigars. Yeah, see, example. but to me, that that I would either buy that, if I if if I'm gonna take a half a million pounds or half a million US. I'm either going to buy a piece of art because I want to enjoy it on my wall, or I'm going to go buy a certain, there's certain cars that you could buy that would appreciate. No, I, but I would drive my car every day and enjoy no, but it. I, I, I know. And, and this is, that's a certain type of audience. I, I agree right. with you. I'm, I'm in that, I'm in that sort of utilitarian space where I want right. something that I'm going to use, but also it may go up in price. What I'm trying to say is there is a significant momentum of a sizable number of people who are clearly distorting the prices right. of cigar. I'm talking from a from a demand side, not from a supply right. side. The supply side is also distorting. Uh, it, the supply side is basically stoking a fire. Right. I, th I think the pricing mm -hmm. uh, 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 of Cuban cigars is sort of like, if you're willing to pay this much, well, why not $5 extra? Why not $10 right. extra? Why not $20? Right. Is this 
perpetuating this snowball that is rolling downhill, getting larger and larger in yeah. size. Okay. Right. Now, now, if you, if you if you like predicting markets and where markets are going to uh, going and and what, what the the one thing you can always say is that when it comes to Cuban cigars, there's a finite market. This valley can only produce X number of cigars every year. And God right. forbid there's some sort of natural disaster or something like that. They'll wipe out uh, quite a Everything. lot of things. For two, three. And then that in itself is a hedging instrument. So right. let's go Let's go stock up because there's going to be a problem at some stage. And then we've got cigars that we'll, we'll see through, you know, see everyone through. So I personally think, and, and the, you can see from the way that I'm talking, I'm not talking in terms of a cigar smoker or an enthusiast. I'm saying there's a very market, uh, economic market driven uh, um, uh, uh, game that's being yeah. played, right? Yes. And when it comes to the non-Cuban cigars, the reason why the prices are going up, as Osman was talking about, the reason why the prices are going up, they just want to put themselves in the same game. Now, right. it's if you're smoking regular, if you're regularly smoking cigars, you're smoking two cigars a day, for example, and you're sitting mm -hmm. out in the USA, you're not going to spend $200 when you can spend $20. Yeah. Yeah, and the twenty dollar one is just as good as the, and sometimes better than the two hundred dollar one. I had we talked about it. I, my friend gave me the one that's wrapped in gold from David Mink or D Dink Mink, whatever it was, and I was like, okay, I wouldn't buy it. I mean, it was like an average smoke, and I was like, what, what a waste. And by contrast, by contrast, ten years ago, ten twelve years ago, right. I, I, I used to smoke cigarettes. I wasn't addicted to cigarettes. I would, but I enjoyed smoking cigarettes from time to time, and. Well, 15 years ago in the UK, sort of an average packet of uh, cigarettes was four Five to six, six pounds. Yeah. Between right, right, four yeah. and six pounds. And I, yeah, used to get right. some, I used to get some really particularly nice cigarettes. I used to get things like Sobrani Black Russians right, or right. Ziganov Black Russians or Cartier Pearl Tips. And they would cost 15 pounds for a packet of cigarettes. Right. And yes. extra spare. Right. The cigarette culture has changed a lot. It doesn't mean that cigarette prices are 100 pounds per packet, but cigarette, those same cigarettes are now 30 or 40 pounds for a packet, the, right. the, the, the yes. special ones. Yes. Why would I spend 40 pounds to smoke cigarettes? Right. I, that's how I think, right? So hence right. the cigar thing. But that market is slightly different. You wouldn't spend 40 pounds for cigarettes when you can get them for 10 pounds, if you know Correct. what I mean. Right. It's sort of a, a it's a Agreed. it's an everyday Agreed. activity. Right. You want to minimize your everyday cost. But yeah. I have I have my everyday cigars uh, that I smoke and I have my special occasion cigars that I smoke, you know, but at the end of the day, they're all I, I, I hate to tell it, in my opinion, at the, it's all the same. Unless you're I'm going to Cuba. Yeah, I was going to I was I was going to I was gonna, I'm smoking the band. Correct. I agree with that. I was yeah. I, I was going to say the same that. It, it, it has started to come to the stage where I have started to kind of, um, yes, there are some cigars which are very special to me, but for the others, I've stopped just keeping them for us because to me, I don't know when that special occasion is going to come and how long I have to wait for it. So I've right, started right. smoking them again. And, 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 and as we were talking about in, in, the, in just a couple of minutes ago where you were talking about Okay, uh, they're going to be slightly different and all that, and quality issues sometimes. Mm -hmm. Issues in Cubans. I mean, I mean, yesterday. Yeah, I don't know if I can. Sh yeah, now you might be able to Hold in on. this reflection if there you can go. just. There you go. Yeah, yeah. But the door is. So if if you. Yeah. No, it's, it is. It is the new gold medal, and if you see there, oh, is, there I can't is this see the gold. I can't line see the that gold you might there. be able to see. Right. Well, because somebody has taken off the gold. Is that gold? And and if you see here. There is right. there is this line which tells you that hello uh, the UFO got him hello, again hello no uh, rope uh, the there is a hello no no say it again you have to uh, Usman, say a, it again it's quite interesting what is this is a, line about yeah yeah this was a rope it was an actual rope like a very tiny rope or or like a thread but not thread to more take the, like to take the which foil was coming off. out of it yes yeah, no so no. So when he cut off, he found yeah. that this was it. So probably at some point when the cigar was being rolled, there was a rope off which was carrying the bundle or the thread which was carrying the bundle, oh. which just got okay. rolled in. Now we talk about now this. I have never seen this kind of thing happening from the 
non-Cubans one. And why I mentioned right. this specifically is that where we are talking about that I really love Cubans and all that, the problem coming is that if I am going to pay $40 for my cigar, it bloody well be nicely done and it bloody well not have these issues. So right. this is so this is the downside of the Cubans. So this is the da- this is the downside of the Cubans where a lot of these quotes sometimes put you off. Uh, okay. Well, it's B because or it's it's a it's a friend who was smoking it. We are off the type. He just took it off and he still smoked the cigar because it's mm. the new Bolivar Gold Medal is a wonderful cigar, but not everyone would want to do it and they would just say, "Oh, what the hell?" So yeah. they would again resort, which is where I see. A lot of them are losing market. Leading on to the fact where we were talking about Chinese taking a lot of them. Mm. I have a very, and, and since Raza used the terminology cigar debunking last time, mm-hmm. or, or the myths, or the God, I don't know. I have a feel that it might be also that they're collecting and they're doing what they've done to wines and art and a few other things. But it also might be that what they're best at, reverse engineering, the Great Maybe. Wall China cigars, the Great Wall China cigars made their in the international trade fair earlier this month uh, right. at, in, in, in Dortmund, Germany, at Intertobac. This is the first time they've actually gone big with a big booth showcasing their cigars. And if you see, they have around 30 Vitolas as of now in categories or brands whatever you want to call it like so you never know i mean what they're doing is i mean as of now they're only available in china and hong kong some parts right they never know they're actually doing some research because a lot of these new lacquered shiny boxes for habanas are all coming from they're making them and all of that and then they're like a lot of fakes coming as well but maybe this is also coming and that's what's going to happen. And after a few years, when they're going to master this art, this is going to do what they do to all the other things, leave it and the, the entire product crashes. Mm. Ultimately hurting serious smokers like us make a difference to the collectors who were just in for the money. Right. I, or, but I think... or, or, yeah, go ahead. No, no, as you say, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I think... The Habano cigar, the Cuban cigar, whether it's now, 20 years ago, or 2,000 years into the future, as long as there's Habano cigars, there will always be the mystique of a Habano cigar. You know what I mean? Like until Mm -hmm. you smoke one um, or until you smoke the right one, there's always going to be this sort of there's a mystique about the cigar, you know? And then when you smoke them, and I've been fortunate enough to smoke many around the world or even in the U.S., it's kind of like, okay, they're pretty much like every other cigar, except you can taste a little more and this and that. Stephen, and sort Stephen, of like, okay, Stephen yeah. you, can buy, you can buy a brand new Mercedes SL today, correct? A brand new Mercedes okay. SL. Sure. You can also buy a Mercedes SL from the 1950s, okay? Yes. A 70-year-old oh, car. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. The difference in price will scare everyone. Right. When you get into the 50s car, yeah. you will time travel. You will smell the old leather. Yep. Some things won't work, work properly, but it'll put a smile on your face. Right. Absolutely. The new SL. I, I, no, because I love the car analogies, so uh, I, 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 get, I get carried away. The new SL is an almost perfect product. Like a Davidoff. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. almost. Why? So the the nineteen fifties Gullwing SL. Let's call it a Gullwing SL because the one with the. I knew that's the, the one you were. I knew that's the one you were talking about. So, okay. Yeah. Oh well, man, you 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 you've actually gone to the. Well, well, I'm, 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 the reason why I talk this way is because I'm I'm an amateur. When it, I, the 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 more I smoke in London, around really. Uh, uh, and it's got nothing to do with age, sort of people with very mature tastes, people who've smoked, people who have huge technical knowledge about cigars right. generally, not just Cuban cigars. The more the more amateurish I feel, and I don't necessarily say that in a bad way, but then I have to reach and struggle for definitions and uh, analogies that make more sense to me. 
And I am the reason I smoke cigars is to time travel. I smoke cigars to time travel. Mm -hmm. Okay, even if even if they're newer cigars, actually, I'm getting a little bit of a hit of something that is evocative. It's not just the cigar. It's the activity of smoking cigars. It's where you smoke them, how you smoke them, what you wear, who you're sitting with, uh, what mood you're in, what food you're having, what you're drinking with. It's that whole bundle. and, And you can pick pieces in and out of it right when we go back to the cuban versus the non-cuban cigars the cuban cigars for all sorts of branding issues whether you want to talk about fidel castro and che guevara or the history of cuba or the or the prehistory of cuba are ingrained it's like everyone building a supercar but it's always enzo ferrari Right. That, that that people remember and a little bit of Ferruccio Lamborghini. And so right. the reason why I go back to the car analogy, because to me, it's a very tight, uh, relevant analogy that most people can relate to. Everyone, virtually everyone in the world knows about cars or owns a car. Right. And, That's true. Uh, and so sitting in that old SL has that very old world feel. Right. Yes. Right. And, and, and now a question. Uh, the, to the expert, the question, and I take it, I take you back to the point that where we ended last week's show, where you said, okay, and, and instead of doing that, I would use your car analogy. What if somebody has never sat in that SL from the 1950s or 60s, and they have no freaking clue of it? For them, the only cars are the Mercedes from the 2000s or 2010 and. And all of these new SLs, which are almost perfect cars, they don't even know the the joy or pleasure. And I am using the words joy and pleasure because I also love classic cars and I am into those as well. For them, it's like, what are you talking about? That's that's like, and when they first time, trust me, they're going to say, oh, is this the seat of the car? Because I can hear the springs. Right, right. Slightly, right? Or, 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 uh, and, this is like slightly less spacious. Or, or, uh, this is the paint is chipping off from a place, even well, if it well is then, like well then, one of those. Then, then, let, then so let me explain it. No, yeah? no, no, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing you to the question. Okay. Given this analogy specifically, so what are you saying? A lot of, sorry, but Americans, because Cubans are banned there technically. A lot of Americans have never tasted the Habanos. For right. them, the best cigars are Fuentes, Padrones, right. Davidoffs. And again, these are the again, cigars for again, them. They again, are the Rolls Royces. Again, the what very, very, the How very you, subjective word. The very, very subjective word, best. And the way right. to persuade people to look at uh, older cigars or perhaps Cuban cigars is to use that very, well... The old SL reflects a certain period of time, a certain period of engineering. If you want to access it or you want to know more about it, a bit like old paintings, impressionist paintings, they reflect the times. You can time travel by smoking an old or uh, or a a Cuban cigar. You can get a feeling of what people used to smoke 40, 50, 100 years ago. The, the, the non-Cuban cigars, which are more recent, they may be better, better. They may be more consistent products. Let's say right. consistent products. They may be yeah. more... Pr- uh, a Tesla, a lot of people will say a Tesla is a white, is a white, pr- a white good. A white good like a washing machine or right. a, a toaster. Mm-hmm. It has no soul. It's just a, it, it's, it's, four, it's four wheels. A steering wheel and batteries, right? right? Whereas a car used to have curves yep. and design and function, <laughs> and it would give you a feeling, and it would, yep. you know, when you went around a corner and you heard it squeaking slightly, that in itself was your connection with your environment around you. You could right. now, now all products are designed to detach you from your environment. You should not feel the bumps in the road. You should right. not feel the G force going around the corner. And these. The older or the sort of Cuban cigars, for example, when uh, Usman was talking about the imperfections, the artisan nature, right. the hand, you get a better sense that someone rolled this. Yes. You get a better sense yes. of, 
uh, you get a better yes. sense of what this, what these leaves have. If you if you focus a little bit more, if you if you go a bit more intellectually, it, it, you say right where I'm smoking this in one hour. But do you have any idea how long this product took to put together, and right. what what process it went through? Uh, well, I don't mean mechanized process. What 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 steps it went through? Let's go. Let's go less mechanical. With the non-Cuban cigars, you get that impression of perfection. Uh, as as actually Davidoff go on and on and on about how perfect right. they're going for the perfect yes. product. They yeah. go on and on and on about it in their marketing. Oh, it's a perfect product. Right. As a, but that that in itself is market differentiation. What they're saying is. You can go for your Cubans, or you can go for a perfect product, which has old right. history associated with it, right? What do you want? Do you want an SL from the 1950s that squeaks a little bit but looks beautiful? So what or you do you want a brand new SL? Trying to say, I want so to Reza, squeak. Reza, what, what I understand? Yeah, yeah what, I, what exactly? Because what you've got you, class, so what you are trying to say? Integrity and style. Well, of course. And so what you <laughs> and, and despite the fact that what you're trying... both of you have said that I should quit cigars, I I think I should carry on. <laughs> Okay, go on. Uh, before that, so what I I what I would say, you're suggesting that Cubans are better. Would I take that as a yes? Or I'm no? suggesting. I'm putting that you on spot. I think. I'm <laughs> suggesting that I think. I think that to my palate and to my interest level, Cubans do it for me. They do it for me because my yeah. father smoked Cubans. So. Yeah. I smoke Cubans because I evoke a past that does no longer exist. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of constantly so dipping in and out in, of a, in, in... a of a history lesson. So we'll say that one of our fans um, actually just wrote. He said, "I used to get Cubans. Yeah, I used to get Cubans in Iraq, oh. and one of the contractors flew into Abu Dhabi a lot, and would and some of them, and then he says that was choice. So he, so I think, listen, like I said, and when you have a Cuban. And I like my Cuban cigars, but you, they're getting to a point now where I'm just sort of like, I can buy whatever for that kind of money. And it goes back to your analogy. For me, a good cigar, whether it's Cuban or non-Cuban, is a good cigar. So I like to listen, I smoke my That's right. Right. Yeah. I like I like my Fuentes. I like my Perdones. I like, as yeah. we know, my CO Amazons, my Davidos. I like it. But I will say, when I get a Cuban. It is literally like, you know, that little box when you were a kid and you would turn the little thing and go bump, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, and then the, the thing like would pop you out. Getting into, it uh, it's like you getting into a 1970s Rolls Royce Corniche. Nice. Oh, and, that's a car. And, and a, not a modern Rolls Royce, but you sit down mm -hmm. and you yep. think, wow. Yeah, this and is a you car. could drive that down the street and no one would think you're an idiot. Everyone would think there's a classy character. <laughs> And, yeah. you know, that's that's that feeling that you get. You know what I mean? And I just I, I, I like the I, I agree. I think it's just the old school world of it. And there is something there is a romanticism about a Cuban cigar because right. you can't get it. And as we talked about last week, at some point in America, I'm assuming they'll make a deal with Cuba. And to Usman's point, America will be flooded with Cuban cigars. And then all of a sudden, the rest of the world will be like, well, we can't get them. And I think maybe I that's think what they're all worried happen. about. I don't, I don't either, but it's, it's wishful thinking. But you know, I that's why I have to travel. So, so but, gentlemen, what I what I yeah. So, gentlemen, for what I take is to show <laughs> for <laughs> cars. <laughs> Life is too short to drive boring cars. Let's do something which is nice and fun, and you remember that there old period of time. Yeah. So, so yeah. No, I agree. Hence, I, would rather... I rest my case. I, yeah. I, I, I swear, I swear by the Habanos, and I, I prefer them. I think, I think we all swear by Habano cigars. Yeah, I would. I'm the same. I will smoke my Habanos, um, but because we have difficulty getting them, and every they seem to be every, yeah. my guys always seem to be out because everybody else is getting them. When I travel to like Dubai, especially, I go to the one store where I know there's the back room. And I go in the back room and I literally load up yeah, on my yeah. Cubans. And I'm like, and I just pray. What, and, I, and I claim, and I go through customs. I'm like, either you're going to get them or they're not. And they don't, because I claim them and they don't care. And I'm like, okay, because I guess I'm <laughs> under the limit. 
because you know I smoke any, them all. In any Dubai. any <laughs> any new processed degrading product, whether it's like processed cheddar cheese, right? Or uh, like so, there's a diff there's a difference between processed pr cheddar cheese and Parmigiano Reggiano that comes in these big big barrels that yeah. are stored in these caves in in, yeah. in Italy and costs th sort of ten thousand pounds for one big roll of cheese. There is a difference. There's a difference right. whether 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 you like it more or less, that's up to you. Right? Yes. But if you want yeah. a quality product which incidentally also makes you time travel, that is really that's that's what makes it special. The old yeah. Rolls-Royce, the the, yeah. the 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 caved uh Parmigiano Reggiano, the anything, anything that has real history and manufacture okay. involved in it is better. I mean, I'm going to say better. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree it's with you. I agree with you. The it's, you. I'll use your car analogy. I think all, like, and Ferrari, I'm thoroughly sorry, but I think all the new Ferraris are crap. And I think after they made the 458, um, that's, that's the last one. Like the Enzo, the La Ferrari, all the, they're, those are cars. The old and there's ones, another trend. Old, and, yeah, and, and uh, I don't, I don't know if we have time. I, I, I'm yeah, sorry. as much time as you want. It's your show. It's your, it's your, it's your show. Wait, I've, oh, no, I've been well, talking a little bit too much on this occasion, but yeah. I've noticed another trend lately. I mean, this is something that's been going on for a while, but I've noticed right. it more lately. I'm meeting more and more guys uh, because congratulations, most of this industry sort of guys that yeah. are saving <laughs> cigars for their kids. They're, they're, I've got a son what? or I've got a daughter. And right. this, the, my oh, daughter yes. was born in oh, 2002, yeah. so I'm going to say, so this is a this is a trend I've seen in London quite a lot. I don't know if you've seen it in your part of the world. So yeah. I have a friend. Oh, I have. Um, I have a friend. I, I won't mention names because everyone. This is a very personal kind of activity. I yeah, have a yeah. friend. He's got a he's got a three year old son, and he said that I am actually saving a cigar from the year that he was born for every single year of his life. In different wow. Vitola, increasing Vitola sizes yeah, for yeah. him. When he turns 18, he'll have 18 cigars, one for right. each year of his life, in increasing oh. Vitola sizes. I don't care about the brand. Those kinds of things will yeah. make that kid time travel. Yes. Right? Or capture mm -hmm. them. So exactly. I'm, 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 about a, I'm, I'm about 150 years old, right? Uh, I have another friend who says, well, what cigars do you like smoking? I say, anything from the 70s or 80s. Primarily, I was born in the 70s. My, I, I used to see, as a, as, a, as a kid and as a teenager, I used to see my father smoking in the 80s. So cigars that are reminiscent of that kind of era are the cigars right. I want to smoke, right? But this is a growing trend of saving cigars from birth years and, and smoking yes. cigars, a bit like cars, the car that you couldn't buy when you were 19 years old, that you saw right. a Lamborghini Diablo or, a, or a whatever it was, is right. at the age of 40 or 50, you can afford to buy it. You don't, want to buy, you, you don't want the new one. You want to go back and buy the one that was 20 or 30 years old. That's right. You see what I mean? So that's, yeah. that's I, I use time traveling a lot because I'm, I really buy into time traveling, right? Okay. Um, well, you I'm and Marty McFly. I'm, I'm from the future, and I've just come yes, back. Yes. But I, uh, one of our one of our guests just wrote, or one of our, our our fans just wrote. He said, "My kids hate that I smoke cigars," and he said, "I would cry if I could smoke a cigar with my son." And that's and and nothing against his son or his children, but that's also because people are like, "Everything's bad. Everything's bad." Rodney Dangerfield had this great line. Rodney Dangerfield said, "What am I going to do? I'm going to eat healthy, not drink, not do drugs, not do this, and one day I'm going to get hit by a bus." And I laughed when I heard it. And as I've gotten older and, my and I go for my physicals and my doctor's like, you really shouldn't smoke or drink. And meanwhile, I'm like, how's my health? He goes, you're healthier than a 20 year old that comes to our office. I go, I'm good, doc. I'll be, I'll be smoking and drinking until I die. And it's just the same mentality. It's like yeah. enough with this ridiculous. If you want to go do enjoy your life. And if your life is smoking, whether yes. it's Cubans, non-Cubans, whatever, go do it. That's it's the whole very, premise. It's yeah. a very anti-woke activity I in every single way. right here pal so it's you know. a very mm -hmm. anti-woke activity it's mm -hmm. a very very traditional very uh, oh, evocative oh. um uh, activity and people won't appreciate it until later on in their lives that's it. Yeah. that's what that's what it is 
and um, whether it's the taste, whether it's the aroma, whether it's the ambiance, it will stay. Yeah, it it, no, it no. definitely would. It definitely it definitely would. The way the way those cars have actually stayed. That's uh, right. And speaking and speaking of those cars, interesting. I would like something which is non-relative, but uh, since it's tomorrow, so there is a drive on all of those old classic cars across the world by the name of Distinguished Gentleman's Drive, uh, right. which is to yeah. So which which happens with Australia. And then ends in the U.S. because that's how the time runs in works in the world. Yes, wow. and I, I I used to host it. I used to host it uh, in Lahore as well. Uh, I haven't been doing it for the last two years, but I I still love the cause uh, because it is about the men of uh, men as well as the prostate cancer awareness. So people who love classic cars. Uh, find out on gentlemensdrive.com uh, nice. about whatever drives that are happening around you in your in your country in your city, and do go uh, take part in it. And if you do not have a classic car, which is up till 1980 or, 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 or well, if you you might not be able to get one tonight, but at huh? least go live and but 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 are interested in Enjoy that it. history. Go live yeah. that history. Enjoy the. Because it's all yeah. about suiting up, looking nice, raising awareness, go. and enjoying having a fun day with those beautiful creations, with those curves that you don't see anymore, and and the yeah. colors. I mean, I mean, you you go to you go to a parking lot from that time, or you see the pictures. At least ten, twenty colors of cars out of like hundred cars with at least ten, twenty colors now. Hundred cars yeah. parked, you would probably see three colors: black, white, silver. That's it. Yeah. But here's well, an so life has gone boring. Here's here's an interesting thing, if I may, before Rizig jumps in about cigars. And one of our our fans just wrote this, which is very true. Cigars are like cars, if you will. Men bond over cigars and cars, right? Because you can talk. You got nut. Is, I always call a cigar a great equalizer. Oh, so it yes. doesn't matter if I'm smoking a two dollar cigar or a five hundred dollar cigar. But if I'm in a, in, a, in a lounge Absolutely. with gentle, the other guys smoking cigars, it's that brotherhood of what we're all smoking as cigars. Yeah. The same with your cars. I, we I all have a that, plastic car. It's the same you know, thing. I, you're exactly right. I find that the people smoking $2 cigars in a lounge will, will sort of group together in a corner over there. And, well, they um, should. Um, uh, it's, we're sitting in the same lounge, but uh, they sit in a bit of a huddle. Uh, and what, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you have a two on this on this Steven, note, Steven, 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 yeah. Steven, you no, you Reza, very, very... on this note, somebody is saying, somebody is saying you look very dapper and elegant. Oh, it's, very, uh, it's very kind. Who, who, who's so saying continue. this? Right. That uh, is uh, Mr. Ka- Irtaz Ali Khan or the Learned Council, as you call him. Learned, con- Learned Council, Learned Council. And, and no, Stephen preempted uh, something I was about to say, the cigars and cars thing. Actually, Usman, uh, Usman's uh, very humble about these things. When Usman was doing the Distinguished Drivers uh, gathering in Lahore, yeah. right. I, I, I firmly recall he would, it, it, would, it would be around cigars as well. The, everyone would have their nice cigars yes. out. You would have a you would have a cigar booth. I think you had. Um, yes. I, I think I've said this. I've used this terminology a little we bit had too a book, much yes. on the show. But I want you to remember: it's about time traveling. It's right. all about e- e- uh, e- evoking a past that doesn't exist and trying to relive it out today. And that's what it. And that's what cigar smoking, even for like in the USA, it's a big biker culture: bikers and cigars. You know the Harley right. Davidson. It, like it's a very macho machismo even a blue collar activity it's a it's a in in cuba it's a communist ac- activity in the usa and around the world it's a even capitalist with, activity uh it's very weird it's a it's even sort of even with the old bikes with yeah. the old right. bikes That's even with right. the old bikes um, like the 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 bobbers the, the triumphs the indian chiefs uh all of those bikes i mean that are are the vespas i mean you we you men it. we men I, I, we I men it. We men have to light a fire one way or another. Where so the end end of our fingers <laughs> or in the engine, we have to light a fire, 
And yeah. that's what it is about. And that we have the, to feel, we have to feel the smoke, we have to feel the fumes. That's where we come from, you know. We, right. we, would you do you want to do you want to that boil is exactly your chicken? Why a lot of us don't like Teslas. Sorry. Oh, you I said that's why people don't like I, I people don't say, like yes, Teslas because like, they're just POSs. Like Teslas, so. because because yeah. because, and, and even even with the new MyBikes and even with the new electric cars. I mean, do you know Watch a it. lot of them have started to now put in that feature where you can hear the noise of the engine. Yeah, the fake engine just noise. So that the you fake can feel. engine noise. Yeah, Porsche. exactly. Porsche did exactly. that. Porsche did that. Yeah. Like, what the hell, man? What the hell, man? I want right, to drive because, because the noise one of from the, the road. Is, I want, because, to, because I want least, to know that. Yeah, yeah, because at least one of the senses is being cut out. This, this is what, this is what, it's a desensitized mm-hmm. world and we want to feel the sensation of the yes. world again. Yeah, So we do. this is, Scarring, yes, scarring is closer to nature because there is yes. a fire involved somewhere. You cook yep. your chicken on a barbecue, boiling it is fine, is good for your right. health. But you put it on a barbecue, you get the flames, you get a bit of char grilling, you get more flavor. I have, I have, I have a question. When you say we, I cook it. You're talking about my my chef, right? Because I don't cook it. Is it okay if he cooks it on the barbecue? Because I, I don't do that. I'm just... we, I was using the royal we. I was using <laughs> the royal. Week. Okay, I just wanted to make one, sure one one, one cooks it. One cooked. Okay. One, gotcha, gotcha. one, one is able to have it cooked. Yeah, so see. somebody cooks it on a barbecue. Got it. I just wanted to add a grass back. I remember. I remember. I remember going into a. I remember going into a Michelin star restaurant in Paris, sort of like twelve right. years ago, and I got served the dish. It was a, a roasted pineapple or something for dessert, right? Sure. And it was sprinkled with charcoal dust, mm. right? To give it. A, I said, "Why don't you just cook it on charcoal? Mm. Why yeah. do you have to sprinkle it? Cook it on charcoal, right? Yeah. So it's." Uh, Today, we're just doing everything, well, not everything, but a lot of things in a fake way to capture what is old world. Yeah. Just I do just the do old world. world. Thing. Yeah. Just do the old I'm, world. Yes. My, and, I've been, and when I go to board meetings, you, you, I'm you, literally... You just reminded go, me. People say to me, you're still old school. Like, you're not politically correct. You're not... I'm like, yeah, I don't care. It's like, I, if I hurt your feelings, then get the F out. I don't have time for this. Life's too short. Yeah. I got shit to do. No, no, I, and that's just <laughs> a big thing. You, so, you know, you, something about it. You reminded me of the yeah exactly. You reminded me of the fact that a few years ago I used to work for again a global giant Unilever, and we had this uh, sports week. Now for right. the start of the sports week, we used to have like like in the old times or in the Olympics, you have those torch, the torch and 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 the events start and all that stuff. Now because of the safety reasons. Uh, it was invented for that, and, and, and Unilever being big on its safety culture, was that it used to be not a torch, but something which was a flickering light. Oh, my God. That, and you go there, and you, and you just put it on there, and then again, it was a flickering light. And I was like, guys, let's just stop this. Otherwise, I mean, you can, do, you can, you can start the event in some other way, uh, and, and on some drum rolls or something, but at least don't right. fake it because it doesn't feel the whole thing so the yeah. feel part and it's about it, the, the the experience uh as raza said and as steven you said so there, yeah there's i a, mean there's keeping a, things yeah there's there's yeah. a point where we get carried away with this let's let's do this like when we were kids we would rode bikes without helmets and climb trees and broke our it's yes. okay to get hurt it's okay to like you know ride your bike but now we like, well, we have to put everybody in. A, it's like, no, it's the same with cigar smoke. I remember I was walking in Manhattan. For you people mm-hmm. that don't know Manhattan, that's New York City. Mm-hmm. On Fifth Avenue, standing on a corner. <laughs> it was about 15 years ago, smoking my, my, my stick. And I'm enjoying myself. And this lady looks at me with such disdain. And I wanted to say something. But as she was about, I was about to, this bus comes by. And, you know, in the old days, the black smoke just came out of the back of the bus and uh-huh. blew right into her face. Uh-huh. And I looked at her and I go, and you're worried about this. And I just kept walking. <laughs> and my buddy just started to laugh. He goes, that's old school, buddy. I'm like, I know, I know. But that's the whole thing. It's just people are, are just too dumb. Okay, a couple things really quick. Everybody wants to know what we're smoking. So let's really quick. I smoked a CAO Brazilian Amazon, which is a non-Cuban. Rizzo, what did you smoke? I had a... a- Partagas Maduro number two, which I've only smoked half of. I'm smoking slower these days. I know that's that's nice of you to do that. And yeah, Mr. Right, Usman, yeah, what did right. you smoke this morning? And and I'm I I, I smoked uh, a punch, punch. Trianfos. A punch yep. Trianfos. This is the newest release in the linear retro series by the Habanos. 
Okay, and we do. And Rizzo, you have a fan, which I'm totally shocked. I'm sure you paid him to write this. Uh, he wrote, I'm a huge fan. This is a- and it's, it's in the comments. Yeah, and his up. name is Muhammad. Muhammad would like your autograph, and he wants to know how and what he has to do to make it, it happen. He can have my autograph now. Is he ready? <laughs> there you there go. It uh, it, there it you is go. A, it is a learned counselor. Are you gonna... <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so Reza, Reza, Muhammad, I don't think you're, gonna get, I don't think you're getting rid of the autograph anytime soon. So there you go. Gentlemen, <laughs> this has been – now, my question is – A pleasure. We have all these people watching us on a Saturday morning. Are we going to do next mm-hmm. Friday live, or are we going to continue Saturday morning live with rebroadcasting? What is what we is can the do, we uh, can do next, live. next week? We'll do live. Yeah, what do we, you want to do? We'll do live next week. We'll do live next uh, week. We'll, we'll do, do live. live every week. But are we doing live on Friday, or are we going to do live on Saturday? We'll, 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 we'll Saturday, we'll Saturday, Saturday, we'll Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Saturday will be uh, Reza, better. Reza, no, no. We, Saturday will be better. Saturday. Yeah, yeah Saturday. Saturday yeah. will be better. Lock it right down Saturday. Saturday. And we'll, we'll keep the surprise for now. But Saturday, we're going to do live yeah. again, guys, at the same time at 7 a.m. my time. I love to get scotching cigars at 7 a.m. 5, it's, uh, it's 5, 5 yeah. p.m. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Oh, by the way, after the OJ, 1 I, PM have this. I don't know if anyone likes this kind of stuff. What Caramel the hell? cold brew. We just Loads. talked about what old the, school, and you bring up this. What are you going to San Francisco after this? Yeah, she's like, shit, yeah. I am drinking cold <laughs> brew. My name's Bruce, and I love you all. Stop I'll it. I'll be honest with you; it's actually quite yeah. nice. It's actually, I was going to say, actually, I guess. Actually, uh, oh, go I to hell, like, Raza. <laughs> oh, it's, wow! It's 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 a, it's a it's a weekend. It's a weekend. It's a weekend I've been afternoon. There. It's a little hot. Drink something. <laughs> 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 My God, uh, gentlemen! No, 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 I've been there, and they didn't want me. <laughs> they, they, they kicked you out. Mark Twain. I have property in both places, just in case. Mark Twain said he's going to go to um, <laughs> heaven. He's going to go to heaven for the weather and hell for the company. So, if there are no cigars, in oh heaven, yeah, I won't oh go yeah. I go. Mark Twain. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> All our fans that watch this live Saturday morning, we will be back apparently next Saturday morning live with a rebroadcast later in the day. If you missed anything, and can um, I? Uh, yeah, can I give please. you a, can I give you a good mental health message? If oh, you're going through fun. hell. Oh my god! Keep going. Oh my keep god! Going. Yes. Keep going. Keep <laughs> going. That's right. <laughs> kick in the door. Just keep kicking in the door and keep going. So keep it's going. awesome. Mm-hmm. And thank everybody for their comments today. That was awesome. Um, that was great. It's the fans love you guys. Look at that. Who knew? So no, really, who knew? Raza, this I is a new. Raza, this is a new. So, Raza, this is a new one. What's this? I said this is a new. This is new that the fans you. love you. So yeah, the well, fans love well, you. Well, primarily because I take cigar smoking quite seriously. Here it um, comes. Oh God. Um, <laughs> yeah. Somebody says you guys have inspired me to get some donuts. I smoke a ninety-nine cent Swisher Sweets banana smash. I yeah, that's a cigar, a cigar from Swisher. Yeah, live is always the best. It gets it. Okay, so we've got approval for the live show. We got love. People love us live. And he's going to go buy donuts. And now I'm jealous. But I'm not going to have donuts. I'm going to make my. Here's what I'm doing after the show because it's so early. I got up this morning (laughs) at five, did the run with the dog. And then I had like a little nosh because there's cigars and scotch. Mm -hmm. And after the show, I'm making myself a beautiful pastrami sandwich with hot belly mustard Mm -hmm. on Jewish rye. Are you going to have that with cheese? But the only question is... No! Are you going to make a Reuben? <laughs> but the... <laughs> uh, the chef's going to make me... You know, yesterday, <laughs> Stephen, can I tell you something? Can I tell yeah, you something? I, I'm not going to make it. The chef's going to make very it. Very interesting topic. Very interesting <laughs> topic. Yesterday, yeah. in Selfridges, I stopped to have a sort of early supper kind of thing, right? Yeah. Right, right. I went to... Uh, it's a delicatessen. I've always thought it's a Jewish look at, delicatessen. Look at it's you, called the Brass you, Rail. Look at you. No, no, hang on, hang on. It's called the Brass Rail, right? Okay. Yeah. And I used to love my salt beef sandwiches there. I used to just yeah. absolutely love them. It's kind of a little bit gone downhill, right? right now, right. I was looking at the menu and I was saying, Reuben or salt mm. beef? Reuben or salt Whoa. beef? Reuben or salt beef? No. Tell me, a Reuben is not kosher. No, technically it is not kosher. But right. it's okay so in a Jewish how do deli. Because it? it's not it's a Jewish deli isn't for the Hasidim. They're not for the real Jews. It's for Jews, <laughs> fake Jews. They're fake Jews <laughs> like me. 
fake Jews like me go there. That's where we go. Do a Jewish I, deli. I've never understood it. How do yeah. you, how, and, yeah. and, and very proudly, it's, it's, it's a Reuben. Yeah. Right, but, but it's, you've got it's cheese, still a, it's, you've got yeah. sauerkraut, you've yeah, yeah. got, uh, you've got fake pastrami. Jew. When I eat a Reuben, it's a fake Jew. What my favorite sandwiches, and if we have it, that's what's, I know we have the pastrami. I don't know if we have the corned beef, but pastrami, corned beef on Jewish rye with hot deli mustard. I, and that's what I had. And that's what I had. And I had, yeah. and I had tongue as well. I hate tongue. Because I always picture a oh. poor cow doing this. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't do the it tongue. It's delicious. It's delicious. I, my grandmother used to make me tongue. And she'd be, do you like it? And I would literally be, where's the mustard? And I would take like one of those big jars of mustard and use the whole oh. jar to get through the tongue. Tongue was never my thing. It's just too tonguish for me. So, you Deli know. mustard, not English mustard. English, English mustard would just blow your brains out. You gotta have oh, deli yes. mustard. A good <laughs> hot, like New York deli mustard. New York. New York. Actually, I'm a New Yorker. Yeah. Actually, actually, the uh, uh, bucket list for me is Katz's. Uh, but apparently, oh. there are ones better, better. But that's a bucket list place. Let me tell you, I, we'll go there and let me tell you, at Katz's, when you go to the front line, if you don't know what you want, you won't get ordered for 20 minutes and you get a half well, a sandwich. Lucky I'll be going with you then. <laughs> there you go. Because a full sandwich is like, a full sandwich is like for 17 people. I know. I went with a friend, I I went with a friend of mine once. that tall. It's that yeah. big. Oh, it's, it, and they charge like 90 bucks. It's still, oh, but it's great. And they it's let like, you smoke a nice Cuban cigar inside while you're eating a sandwich. So let's go with that. Um, so, <laughs> I'm going to be running the catches now in New York. Going, hey, I heard on the show you let us smoke cigars. And cats are going to be like, who are the idiots that told you that? <laughs> so, and they, and, these ones. Yeah, these ones. And they would stick in a whole bunch of New York terms for that before they got to the word idiot. So, but yeah, so it's very cool. Well, it seems that we have tons of fans watching us. But unfortunately, guys, we've been doing this for an hour and a half. And we could stay yeah, if you so. want, but uh, we're probably going to have to leave. Um, next guess, week is our topic. We try to wrap it up yet. At some point. Topic. Is our topic a surprise for next week? Or and the fans will just have to find out? Let's go, or... with, let's go, with, the flow. Let's go with the flow. But why don't we go, if we're getting fans on, why don't we get fans letting us know what their favorite cigars are? And we can comment about that. There you go for next week. Why and if not, we'll comment on our favorite cigar. Why don't you? Why don't yeah, you so. come on? Why don't you guys come back on? Uh, let the fans when, write what they're enjoying, and let right. our resident sommelier talk about that cigar, and we'll give you our opinions. Interact sure. with us a little bit. Let's have an interactive uh, well, session. Um, they actually, time. they actually did. It's under the comment section, which I know you're not yes. reading, and Elizabeth uh, yes. and I are reading yeah. the comments. And, I, <laughs> so. and by the way, I don't like electric golf carts either. I don't like golf. Full yeah. stop. Oh, look at you! You read. Oh, oh really someone's read it. Oh. No, 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 no. Wow. That, that's the wow. ether. That, that's through yeah. the ether. Wow. That's through the ether. Oh. Yeah, the I, ether. I will tell you. I remember when golf carts were the gas-powered golf carts when I first started to play golf a hundred years ago, and it'd be like. Pu, 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 and I loved it. And then the, the electric one was sort of like, "What the heck is this?" I remember so. when you. I remember when you would have a, a caddy who doubled as yes. a bodyguard and would walk oh, around yes. and throw the hat and just yep. throw in it. And, and well, in Pakistan, your, uh... we still have that. In Pakistan, well, that's still well, the, in that's still the case. You still have it, but but in oh in, in the modern world, <laughs> in the modern world you have, electricity <laughs> has replaced uh, the. Caddy. Listen, no, 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 no. The, the 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 golf carts are still a luxury and the electric golf carts are extremely new uh we still have those golf carts by the way where you have to put fuel in and they're like bum, 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 bum. you know what yeah, would be the exactly. ideal golf cart or, or, you know what would be the ideal golf cart a 25 a year old asian oh, sl gullwing mercedes oh that's a beauty that's a you know, with there's the, a with company the boot, with the boot open and the golf club uh, getting in the back, and it just follows you around. Uh, the you know, there's a there's a company here in America that will make you your for your golf cart. They will custom make you no, whatever you nice. want. You'll you'll no, see people no, with Reza, Hummers, Mercedes, Rolls Royce, everything. Raza, Raza, this is a golf. Raza, this, this is the best golf cart. Cinco Cinco. Yes, exactly. And that too. Yes, sir. See, that's funny. Your golf cart there here. Come out of here. We'll go play golf. I mean, I generally, generally speaking, I object to this game golf, but it oh works if you can smoke. No, if it works if you can smoke, you know, a round of cigars. cigars. A round of cigars. Around. You can, you, oh, yes, of course. Winning or losing. Of course you smoke cigars. That's why you play golf. What else the, do you play the golf for? You, I mean, uh, who, who does not smoke cigars on golf course? I mean, the ones who don't, I yeah. really don't like to play with them. I, I have can't a friend. Those people. I have yeah. a friend like no who fun. two days ago, I have a friend who two days, an avid golfer goes around the world, plays golf everywhere. Right. And he is an avid, 
avid smoker of cigars. The one activity he does not engage in is smoking cigars on the golf course. It, oh. it detracts from his concentration. Oh, stop it, Scoff. He says, Please. if I want to smoke a cigar, I'm going to sit down in a really nice place and smoke a great cigar. Oh, my God. Stop going. Oh, my God. Hey, please. This and he's watching not... and he's watching the show right now as we talk. Really? All right. Well, <laughs> hey, throw a pair. Smoke a cigar <laughs> while you play golf. Jesus. Okay. Wait, wait till you play with us. Has so this man played... died on the chair? Doesn't that? He was just like, oh, when I play golf, I play Rodney <laughs> da- I play Rodney Dangerfield golf from Caddyshack. So playing golf with me is like playing with that character <laughs> when I play golf. So there you go. Gentlemen. Love you both. Oh, we have a comment. Let's, say, let's get our last comment in before we leave. This gentleman said, agree. Uh-oh. Serious golfers don't smoke on the course. What, is, what does this guy know? Um, <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah, I, 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 think, I, think, I think he knows something that we I need don't to know. know. And I, and I, and a serious I, golfer. Reza, yeah, I, know. Reza, Reza, I need to know. I know. I need to know. Well, I need to know his I Someone's blocking him out. You, Someone, he, yeah, can, uh, uh, he needs to know something, that, and he's not able to ask the question. <laughs> Look at it. He's, he's blocked. It was like oh, yeah, jamming at the end sort of like the, <laughs> the, golf the right challenge he's stages. Him. He's blocking him out. Yep. I've, 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 actually, I've actually read the comments. Come on, why can't Raheem we hear him now? Smoke a why cigar can't we hear on Smon. Who he, can't? He's just I can I hear you. can't hear anything he's saying. There is no UFO. Okay, shut up. <laughs> so thank yes, you very much. yes thank you very much for the, uh, thank you very, thank you very much for Riz's, this i know i, know, I exactly figured what he was doing <laughs> yes Riz's, 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 friend, Riz's, Riz's friend said that serious friend, golfers Riz's be like smoke cigars, around with so. tap it around with huh no no Riz's, so so Riz's, so Riz's so so I, 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 golfers I, don't smoke cigars which is probably very true and I, I, I know i know i i i know the gentleman for a change going. this time for shut up <laughs> yeah, we can't we, we, we absolutely Rahil, we can't hear you it just cuts in cuts out cuts in we cuts out. The show. i have it's it's it, it's you it's you trying to block me out whenever i have to say something i think so I, I, so uh rahil you you should my hands are clear yeah right so, Rahil, you should smoke a cigar. You should smoke a cigar on the golf course next time. And then you would actually feel the difference because I feel you get a lot of concentration uh, through that. I so, agree. so, I know the gentleman, uh, if, if, if he's the same Rahil, uh, I think he should. He should. And, and I know of, of a lot of sing, single digit handicap people on the right. golf course who actually prefer it and love Which smoking. Which digit in cigars. particular? Like that in the morning. I was just, I, when he said handicapped uh, people, I was talking. thinking something totally different. But anyway, um, <laughs> mostly on our show. We were talking but, of golf. Uh, we talking yes, I got that. <laughs> yes. I'm not a single, I'm not a single handicap. I'm a double handicap. So I smoke cigars, drink scotch, and I'm just there for the enjoyment. To have a good time. That's what I play golf for. Nothing I more. When, when, I, don't go, I, I would I, imagine, I, I, I would imagine if you were smoking out on a golf course, yeah. your game would suffer. Um, Birdies would turn into bogeys. Why? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, when I, I, but it is true. If I don't smoke a cigar, I do play a better game. But there's just something about I'm out here. I want to have a good time, eh, so I'm okay with that. Exactly. I don't take golf. No, it's not life or death. It's golf. I, I think Usman probably would have said to, is it Raheel that he should instead of smoking yes. non-Cuban cigars, try Cuban cigars on 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 the golf course. On the golf course, exactly. you'll play better. Course. It's a known fact. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. May I make a suggestion? May I make a <laughs> yes. suggestion? Please. Smoke the Monte Cristo Open Eagle. Mm. Oh, I, I, would have thought, I would have thought that our resident cigar sommelier would have said that, but it. But I was waiting and yeah. waiting oh, no. and waiting. A cigar designed for the golf course, <laughs> the Monte Cristo Open Eagle. Remember, there's Somali, there's Somaliers. There's Somaliers. Well, the ent- the entire <laughs> and there's. Somalia. Yeah, technically, <laughs> yeah, tech, technically, technically, the entire open series. Well, the the well, you you say about. Yeah, well, I already said it. Now it's pointless are, elaborating. Yeah. I, I I did say it. So yeah, we can, we can expand <laughs> yes, on it sir. a little bit. My, Whether it's the junior, my, my, the master, but I went apologies. for the big one, the eagle. 
Anyway, gentlemen. Usman, 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 Usman yes, knows uh, so no, I no, can get no, away no, with no. this, yeah. That's right. We all love each other. That's why we do the show. That's why I do <laughs> I told, my, whole, my whole team, my whole team knows that when we do this show, the world can be imploding. Godzilla can be eating San Francisco. <laughs> I could care. Don't bother me until we're done. This is my favorite part of the week. It is the sh- this show. It is very because of the company. It is evident from the fa- it is evident from the fact that you were ready to go live at seven in the morning because of the princess calling it off. Yes. Yeah. and and you waking up five o'clock in the morning for that. And we're going to be doing so, next yeah. week, which I'm very excited about. Are you kidding? I, I suspect. I suspect, I suspect. I <laughs> suspect this show. I suspect this. This. Uh, I'm so sorry. I. I I spoke for quite a lot of this show, which I, I tend not it's to It's all do. right. For, um, it's okay. You're allowed. It's your show. But, but I, I felt I needed to add some decorum for a change. Oh, my God. Here show. it goes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, for, no, on my part. I'm not on, on my part because I've yeah. been a little bit sort of. And so I wanted to raise the game a little bit. Um, so uh, okay. I apologize, apologize to the audience if if I've been uh, uh, a little bit too uh, critical <laughs> of their shitty uh, New World cigars. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I wouldn't pay more than five dollars for any New World cigar. Stay so, Brazilian Amazon, then, baby, all day long. All <laughs> shit, yes, sir. They're all shit cigars. Stop there smoking them. You <laughs> may as well stick them up your nostrils. Wow! Oh, it's so, subjective. Hey, oh. I'm allowed to say subjective things. I know. Hey, subjective. you shouldn't hold. You shouldn't hold back. Tell us how you really feel. That's what I think. I feel. I feel. <laughs> I feel that cigar smoking is an activity that should take place only around Cuban cigars. Cuban All right. Okay. Uh, everything else is a copy. Everything else okay. is a catch up. Everything else is marketing and branding. Right, right. Um, uh, I've had some really extraordinarily priced cigars that are not Cuban cigars, and that shouldn't I should not have paid more than literally five or ten dollars for. And, are you referring? Um, are, are you are, are you uh, referring to your favorite Mirap Fields? Yeah, that's a piece of shit. Absolute piece <laughs> oh of shit. Oh my god! Total scam. Total scam. No, honestly, it's a total scam. I have no problem saying it because the thing is, it's my opinion. And someone else may say, Reza, you haven't got a clue what you're talking about. They're amazing. Go ahead. Buy hey, more hundred dollar mirror. Uh, one of the fans just asked, ahead, what's, your, on, what's, your opi- what, what, what's your what's your opinion on the House of Padron? Their cigars. What's your opinion? Um, you I had one uh, relatively recently, maybe four-ish months ago. A, okay. a, very nice, a very nice person offered that to me. He says, one of, right. I, I don't really smoke uh, non-Cubans, I, I, but I do like Padron. I like the history of Padron. Right. Please t- try one yes. of these. Uh, Usman might remember what I smoked. Uh, it was... Um, 1964. I, I think I put it on my Instagram. For me, was it a 1926? It, okay. The fact 64. that this friend gave me a Padron to smoke... Okay. It, yeah, it's the fact that he gave it to me to smoke is what I remember. The cigar okay. is forgettable. Yeah, it's the person who gave it to you. The person who gave it yeah. to me and I smoked it is what I remember. Yeah. The cigar in itself is forgettable. It was. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a fan of the since, Padron. Since, I like them, but I'm not a fan because they're pressed. And I think pressed to me, for some reason, it's not a cigar. There are two. Since, since we're cigars. since it's subjective, Raza. Yeah. Since since we since it's subjective and we're on Padrons. I think out of a lot of non-Cubans, Padron's is one cigar feel has some history to it, and 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 to me that is why I I would if I if I don't have a choice of Habanos, and out of the non-Cubans, if a lot of them are there, and a Padron is there, I would surely go for a Padron even over uh, David Fuente. Right. Uh, so I I, I would yeah. I would prefer that. There are two cigar, uh, sort of non-Cuban cigar brands that I've smoked that do stay a little bit in my in my in my data banks. One Usman knows inside out. Usman can second guess it almost exactly. There's a brand that I smoke Camacho. quite a lot. It's Camacho, which really? is a David of yeah, Cam- uh, and specifically Cam- the Camacho Connecticut. Stephen, Stephen, uh, he likes Stephen, he likes getting a hit in the face. That's why. That's the only gotcha, reason. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> so Camacho's one, and there's one that neither of you have smoked, uh, which I smoked in Dominican Republic. I smoked it 
uh, with the owner of the cigar company. I smoked it in their lounge. I smoked it virtually most days when I was in the Dominican Republic. And that is a brand called Saga. S A Saga. I have smoked it. Yes, sir. Oh, I have, have I've, 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 I've smoked the Saga. It's, okay. it's again, like it. again, the, uh, well, okay. So it was not bad, but I wouldn't say it was a cigar I would want to go and source for myself. It is available in Pakistan very easily. The Saga uh, brand is there. Nirka Rias, uh, who... That's right. Who, 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 They're who available in Dubai, too. Yes. All over the place. Yes. They're, they're, yeah, they are. I mean, I, I like the I mean, boxes. There's the characteristic to them. I, they're smooth, I, yeah, smooth the boxes. creamy. They're smooth, creamy yes. cigars for yeah. me. So I, that I characteristic actually like them lends only for the presentation. To... I Sorry? only liked it for the pres. I only liked it for the presentation of them. Those very nice book-shaped boxes, right. uh, yep. uh, but, well, historical books, so you can actually shelve them in a bookshop yep. or in, in a book right. rack as well if you want to. So they look pretty, and that is what I only remember. But again, the cigar is forgettable for me. Yeah, I, I had um, one in Dubai. Again, it's, at the, again at the Osman, it's time and place. It's where you smoke them, how yeah. you smoke them. Agreed, so I had the, agreed, them. agreed. I, I, had the, I had the Andalusian bull, uh, bull by La Flora Dominicana. Again, with the owner, sitting at a table. That, in that moment, that cigar was absolutely outstanding. Right, in right. that moment. Yeah. Yeah. In that yes. moment. Ask me what it was like. I can't remember what it was like. Yeah. But in that moment, it was outstanding. But the Saga yeah. one, as I a smoked flavor one recently. memory, stays. Sorry? Okay. I, I I I smoked one uh, very recently, the Andalusian Bill Bull. Uh, again, I remember the friend who gave me. I remember what he recommended and what he said. Uh, I couldn't find any of those things in that cigar. So yeah, very yeah. ordinary cigar for me, as compared to a few other La Flor de Canos in in particular the chisels they have. Uh, I would I would still remember those, not the Andalusian Bull. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Very nice. Yeah, it's one with a moon on it, right? What's it called? The media. That's also yes, called a media luna, isn't it? I think so. I'm it's not sort sure. Sort of like really. a dark blue band with a moon on it. La Florida. No, the one I smoked. The, the yeah, the, yeah, the, the 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 one I smoked, the Andalusian bull, was a greenish kind of green. That's a green double like figurado the, 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 kind the, of double the, figurado. Kind yes, of yes, yes. Yeah, they, it was very, very very interesting. I don't. Yeah. I don't even remember if it was. I don't think it was double figurado because it is pointed at what, the well, it's head of it. It's tapered at both ends. One it is slightly. One yes. Wider. Yes. Yes. That's right. That's right. It's one narrow, one wider, but slightly tapered on both sides. Taper. So I, I, yes. You can sort Agreed. of double figurado. Yeah. And then finally, yes. there's finally in in that sort of there's a trio. There's another one. I smoked this because I was encouraged to smoke it. I tried it. I thought one of the cigars wasn't bad. That was the Emperor Yao. Uh, that was oh, the I love El that Centimo. one. I had that. That was the delicious. He told and I, me encouraged, that. I encouraged Stephen to have a go at yep. that because it held very nicely in the hand. Beautiful band. Beautiful, yep. beautiful band. What cigar it, is that? What cigar is that? El Septimo. Oh, I have a couple of those gifted to me. I yep. am yet to actually uh, smoke them. A couple of friends smoked them, had a very different point of view, and maybe because of that, I am yet not uh, able to light them up. But now the two of you have said some things. Oh, they're very I good. I might give it. A, I bought a I box. might give them a go. I like well, it as that a much. product, as a product, ah. as someone who doesn't smoke Cuban cigar, as a product, it's a good-looking product. Right. The box, the cigar, it's a good-looking yes. product. It, it's sort of a conversation piece. If you're smoking that in an American, in a U.S. Uh, cigar lounge and you're smoking yep. that there will be someone looking at you saying what is it you're smoking because it's got such yeah. a beautiful band on it if yeah. you know what I mean um, yes. when it comes to aroma and things like that forgettable right yeah but yeah. it's very very much yeah oh and, and and the gentleman I was referring to who has given a bad feedback has written it uh, the Andalusian bull, okay, the El Septimo. El Septimo. The cigars are shit, are shit and, and you know it. <laughs> shit, and you know it. Andalusian bull, because he was the one who gave me the Andalusian bull. He right, says, right, right. Andalusian bull was made from a special vintage mold found in Belgium. I don't give a shit. I did not really well, like well, it. Well, why it was wasn't it made from a special? So, special Amar, vin- why wasn't it made from a spe- special vintage mold found in Andalusia? That's the question. Yeah. 
Amar, Amar, there's a question for you. So this was Amar who said it. So we we uh, we we posed the question to him. <laughs> we'll see if he types. We'll I, see I, if he I, types I, before we end, or he'll come on next week yeah. and talk to us. So, mm-hmm. but this was a great show. I like the Saturday Absolutely. morning show live. I think this is great. We should every Saturday. Can you do every Saturday? I mean, I know you're busy okay. with nothing. Okay no, 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 okay. Stephen. No, we are. Not, we're not gonna give him Saturday or Sunday because we know he's not gonna make it. Even oh. on the Fridays, he can't make I've it. I started to feel that it is. It is becoming a bit of a. Yeah, he can't make it because he's kind of busy. So yeah. uh, for Saturday. next on Saturday, Saturday but morning. after that, let's keep it on the Fridays. Yeah, but after that, okay, keep so it on the you're, uh, you're, Fridays. You can do the show do without me. No, we can't. You know that no. you cried yesterday. Oh, we said we'll do the show uh, without you. We're like, no, I don't. I want to be part of it. I'm like, all right, fine. Anyway, your guy wrote and, a response. And, and, and also the fact, yes, and, and also the fact that Raza. I mean, if you're not going to be there, who's going to be the Joker of the show? Hey, so, who are you going to pick on? You can't pick on that, each other. I, with, I, yeah, I, with, I, with I, that, I made, with that, I, with that, Amar says. With that, Amar says the name is an ode to Lito Gomez's Spanish heritage. Nice. Very nice. Look at that. Raza, we'll have that. We'll have that. Con- we, we, Raza, we'll have that conversation with him when we see him. Well, we I, him. I have an idea. Why doesn't Amar come onto the show? Is this Amar, on? Amar, get on the next show. Week. Amar, get on the show. Replace let's, let's me for that. a week. No, stop it. You're going to be on the show. It's your show. No, no, you're going to enjoy, you're gonna enjoy, you're gonna enjoy it. You know what? You know what? I, you know, you're going to enjoy Amar because Amar, Amar will smoke through anything, I think. Uh, anything yeah, but we, Amar... But you, uh, yes, it's sir. your show. We'll be and, here. and especially, be here especially week. the the blacker the, the the blacker the cigar is, Amar is yeah. going to like it more. I knew when a girl in university blacker, like that. I, want to I think that's different. Much. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, no, I, I'm referring to the strength side of it because, okay, uh, Stephen, you would like him because he likes the same cigar like you, which is the Liga okay. Provada Nine and the Liga Provada T52. I, oh, I, I seriously beauty. can't stand both of them. Amar is, the, right. Amar is the one who swears him. Would love to, I but agree. I'm traveling all of next month. Uh, he just does You know what it is? He just want to show up, Riza. I, you know, he, that's a good friend. Right there, that's a good friend. Doesn't want to show <laughs> up the host of the show, and he's right. using the excuse that he's traveling. That's really nice. So you're going to be back next week for your show. Yes. Just saying. Yes, sir. <laughs> On Saturday, we're going to do it again. <laughs> Saturday. So the fans yes, are going to be expecting Saturday, you on Saturday. 7 o'clock... Sa- you just have a picture of a seven Joker. o'clock your time, one one p.m. London time, and five p.m. Pakistan time. There you go. Do you like then, that? I put a tie on for you guys. I do. Can I tell you? I was, when I got on today, I was very impressed, and I was like, next week. I mean, I'll either oh, be yes. wearing this for my tuxedo, and I have pocket squares now with my tuxedo, oh. so I will even. I'm not going to put a bow tie on, but I'll do. I'll dress up as we always do. It's a like we said last week. There's something about dressing up, having a cigar with your mates, yep. and enjoying it. Like the time flies like this when I'm with you guys, and I love it. Absolute, so yeah, it's the best absolute, thing. It's the absolute. best. It's the best mini holiday I have all week. You basically saw the sunrise <laughs> during this show because when yes, we logged you all on, saw the like, sunrise. Like, yes, like yeah, we all saw it. We all saw it. Yeah, we all saw it. Yeah. <laughs> it was dark behind me. Here I had to have the light. The I, had to have, do, here, do, I had do. the light on, and yeah, now it's. It's 8.30, 9 o'clock, and it's sunny outside, and the neighbors are trying to figure out why I sit outside in a tuxedo. Or so this is what people business. do when they smoke a cigar in a hearth. This is what they do. It's basically this is what they people do. do. They shoot the breeze, and they talk yeah, about yeah. culture and cars and art and, you yeah. know, e- the economics of – you know, uh, of of cigars and why yeah. the prices are rising and how it's connected yeah. to everything else and yeah. ties and suits yes. and jackets yeah. and Bond villains and et cetera. The things Hence, that most people don't talk about anymore. Correct. Hence our Abano Cigar and Drink Show. That's why it's Absolutely. here. Absolutely. For the, fa- for the fans I, and the cigar aficionados and the Cigar I, 101 I, people. Can I say something yeah. in closing? Please. Yes, Mr. please. President, thank you for watching. Oh. <laughs> I, knew that was I knew that was coming. Oh. Uh, hey, Donnie, we, keep, Donnie, we, uh, we may Mr. not Trump, love you. I love I Cuban come. cigars. You've got to come smoke Cuban cigars. Or just marry yeah, Donnie, <laughs> Donnie, come come on the show so Rizza can have wet dreams and you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. We'll just sit here and just a cool customer. 
cool customer. He just says that to the world, basically, right? Yeah. And that's just says something to you the know, world. All, all the faults to one side, that to the world is <laughs> plus act. Uh, all right, hold on. Plus I would love to join you in the car focused discussion mm-hmm. whenever cars. you have it. Next week, we'll talk about cigars and cars. We just did. Cars. We just did. Well, I know, we just but did talk know, about car focused some, some of your fans, yeah, they're not the sharpest tools in the show. I don't know what they're talking about. But uh, we could do a whole show on cigars <laughs> like, and cars. Are you slagging off the fans now? <laughs> I, love the, I love the fans. Slagging me off. Good luck, people. Yeah, listen, I'm the, Jew from, I'm the Jew from New York. They don't expect me to embrace you. You say off camera, now you're saying them on camera. Why not? I love that. <laughs> I love our fan. And, and whenever I, I love our fans. They're the best. And can I tell you, we get a lot of comments on the shows, tons of comments on the shorts we put out, and we even get emails from them. So we may bust their chops live, but we love our fans. And without them, we wouldn't have a show. So well, no, but that's just it. The next, the, next session, the next session is meant to be slightly more interactive. Send us yeah. what you think is your perfect cigar or your waste of time cigar as well. Yeah. It might even be a Cuban that you think, I have one waste of time Cuban cigar that I've always said, but maybe maybe I smoked it in the wrong place which at the is, wrong time in the wrong way. Which is, don't you dare talk about the private stock 230. I didn't, you did. You did. Way to go. See, exa- I knew I knew I knew what you were going to do now. <laughs> even though it has my initials on it. Even though it has my oh initials on it. Yeah, I did not enjoy it. All right. There you go. There you have it. And that's how we're gonna leave the show. Everybody, it's, it's, thank it's, you so it's, much it's, for watching. We love you fans. You're the best yeah. to my two mates always. Nice to have you and see you again. We will see everybody next Pleasure. Saturday morning live. Riz is going to start getting naked, so oh. we're going to end the show. <laughs> not, pretty. not pretty at all. <laughs>